Okay, hello everyone, welcome to the One Class channel. My name is Andrew and I'm currently doing stats and math at University of Toronto. Today we'll be going over some commonly asked mathematics questions at both the high school and college levels. If you need some homework help or tutoring, please check out the link in the description below. Okay, so now let's start our session for today. Okay. Let me just zoom in a bit. All right, so the first question is asking us how do we simplify e to the exponent of ln x? Okay, so let's write that down. So how do you simplify e to the exponent of log x. Okay, so in order to solve this given functions, first we need to equivalent to y. So first thing we do oops, step one, we will let y is equal to e to the exponent of ln x, okay? And then our second step, we will take the natural logarithm of both sides of the equation, okay? So, it's another color, so take natural log of both sides of the equation. Okay, so we will have long y is equal to long e to the exponent <coughs> of long x. Okay, so we pretty much just add an ln on both uh, left hand side and right hand side. Okay, and step three. Oops, that should be pink. Okay. And then, um, let me see. Yep, so and then we'll apply the power rule. So power rule for logarithm. So we will have long y is equal to long x times long e. Okay. And then next step. We know that ln e is just equal to 1 because there is a invisible base e. So e to the exponent of 1 is equal to e, right? So the equation can be simplified to uh, just another color. So ln y is equal to ln x and y is just equal to x. And, uh, yep, so uh, next up, we substitute y is equal to e to the exponent of log x back into the equation. So we will have e to the exponent of log x is equal to x. Okay, so therefore, we can write our conclusion. Therefore, e to the exponent of long x can be simplified to x, okay? Yep, so that's all we get for this question. Okay.
So let's leave a comment there. <clears throat> so solution is correct, well done.